When you're working in Procreate, it's really important to use lots of different layers. I'm going to show you the breakdown of how I use lots of layers to create a really small, super cute, slow loris. Named Boris. That's his name. Alright, so I'm going to walk through how I uh, draw really cute characters. I'm going to draw this slow loris. And you can actually see the whole step-by-step -step video in my IGTV video on Instagram because I did the whole thing live stream. So if you want to watch step-by-step -step how I did every single uh, stroke and movement and color, then you can watch it on my IGTV. So this is a slow loris. Uh, one of my favorite one of my favorite animals and that's what I based my character off of Horus so this is Horus um, not quite this particular slow loris I based him off of but you can actually see uh, where I got a lot of the like the the shapes around the eyes and things like that and uh, you know the five toes and five fingers so this is pretty much that's what I based uh, my character Horus off of so the first thing that I do is I use, um, and these are, these are my brushes. You can download them in the description. Uh, the first one I use is Sketchmaster 2. And it's a pretty, it's a just like a normal thick brush, but it's, I don't know, the opacity is just the way I like it. These are stock brushes that I tweaked, so they're free. Uh, Sketchmaster 2 is what I use first, and I always will do a loose sketch first. So this is the loose sketch that I use to kind of find the shapes and just sort of, you know, I just sort of create all of these shapes that uh, this little guy is. Oops, let me um, go to the right layer here. So all of these shapes are pretty much put down, you know, how I want his legs to be, how I want his arms to be. This is pretty much just finding finding the shapes. That's all that's all that is. So, I do the uh let me erase those since I drew all over the poor little guy. Okay, so this is all my rough shapes how I figure out how I want everything to be. So, once I have that rough sketch, then I actually do another sketch over that. So, so here's the next sketch and it's still sketchy but it's, it's bringing out my stylistic eyes, the way I always do my eyes, stylistic mouth. Um, so it's pretty close to the, uh, the reference, but it's not exactly the same. Uh, I change things like the hands, like they have like funny looking uh, feet. So I kind of just change it to make it more palatable and cartoony and cute um, because I'm not going for photo realistic. I'm not trying to match everything exactly. So I gave him, you know, little pudgy fingers and things like that. So this is pretty much a rough sketch as well, but just bringing in more information. And with that information, then I do the line work. So it's actually a bit hard to see. So here's the sketch. And a lot of the line work is a bit hard to see. Let me see if I can change the color here. Um, because as I've gone along, I've cha actually changed the colors of my black lines. Uh, so it might be easier and quicker for me to just alpha lock this and then fill it. So I'll fill it so everything is black. So this is the line work here. And that's, that's basically going over my... So I go over my red sketch and I just really clean it up. Uh, with the black. And for my cleaner sketch and for this, I use the same brush. It's called Sketch Master. And it's similar to the other one, but it's not, it doesn't have, the opacity is a bit different. Um, I don't know what I did or how I made these, but I love these brushes. I use them all the time. So for this line work, I didn't want it really clean, precise. I still wanted it a little bit sketchy, as you can see. So I use Sketchmaster, which is uh, one of my favorite brushes. Okay, so 
I'm going to go ahead and change this back to the colors that I had it. All right. So the next thing we do is I just block out the paint. So basically I just use this cream color and I just fill in everything except for the eyes, the nose, the ears. I filled in everything else with any color. And that's what it looks like without the lines. So after I, after I block the color in, then I change the color of the hands. So all I did was I select this layer. So I hit select. So basically it's all it is is it's sort of like a mask. All the only thing that you can paint on is take a big brush here. The only thing you can paint on is what's selected. So I've selected that and then you can make a new layer. So if I make a new layer and then I hide this, it's still the same. It will only go over that selection. So what I did is I just made a layer here and all I did was uh, use the purple and just go over, you know, just stayed in the lines where his hands are. So that's how I did the hands. And I do it on a separate layer so that if I need to change them or if I want to change the color, I can do that. So that's why I put that on a separate layer. All right, so what do I do? I'm not sure the... Oh, I think I did these next. So basically, um, I, wanted to, I wanted to color in some of the shading on his body. So I basically just took brown and an airbrush, and I airbrushed all around here, and I sort of erased it. I erased it back. And this is all on a new layer. That way, if I make a mark, I can just take the airbrush the erase airbrush and I can slowly erase it back. And here I just added these colors and I just kind of faded them up, faded them out. All right, so now I get to the fun part, which is the eyes and the nose and the mouth. So all this is is behind this paint layer so I make it behind this paint layer. I'll turn this layer off too. So this is just white cream, like an off-white color. And this is how I paint the mouth. I just paint the mouth shapes in. And I always erase the lines for the mouth. And then I make the eye on its separate on a separate layer. And you can check out my tutorial on how I how I make the eyes because it looks complicated, but it's really not. Once you see how I break it down. But I, I make the eyes separate. And then I duplicate them. And I just drag them in on a separate layer. So if I wanted to, if I wanted to move around, then I could do that. And about here is where, the point where I actually change the I changed the color of, uh, I added a little shading here near his mouth. About here is where I changed the color of the lines from, fill layer, from black. And then I slowly take a color that's a little darker than whatever color I'm, whatever color his body is. And all I did basically was just change it to like, you know, a darker color. And for his fingers, it's like a darker purple. And it just kind of takes away. I do keep the black for the mouth lines and for the lines around the eyes. But everything else, I change. So, or I, I, I kept his little belly button black as well. But um, So next, I do the eye highlights. And again, you can see my tutorial. And it's basically just... A lowered opacity white brush that I made down here and then I just erase patterns in it and this is actually a new brush that I added to my faves it's called eye glare texture and and it's white and it just adds some I don't know why I can't um, let me go to the eye layer 
and just add some texture. Um, and I had it on a different layer, but I figured I would bring it over because a lot of people uh, download my Faves brush. So I brought that, that brush over as well. So make sure you download the latest version of the link in the description. Okay, so next. So basically I just did your fundamentals of shading. I just shaded like around the outside of, of here. Um, and I used multiply and I have the layer opacity down. So I don't want it too dark. So I'm not sure what the color is. So that's what it looks like at 100%. Um, I actually don't remember what I had it at. I think I had it at like 24. Um, so yeah, I just lower the opacity and I use the airbrush. Here I use a harder brush. Obviously along here, airbrush. Or you can do harder brush and then you can use the eraser airbrush and just airbrush, airbrush it away until it looks nice and smooth. And of course here is smudge. I added some white and then I just smudge back the, uh, the shading. Add some shading here to show depth where the eyes are to kind of match like his depth here. And I think that's all of it. Yeah, the wood is just, you know, regular wood with some different, some different uh, brush strokes uh, showing through. I don't go too crazy with that too much. And I think those are pretty much all the layers. So what I'll do now is I'll, um, I'll just show the, uh, I'll roll the, the time lapse from start to finish of making this guy. So, and also, how do you guys like this new mic? I feel like my voice is going to sound so much better because I finally have a decent mic. Okay. I've lost the plot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching the video. I really appreciate it. I want to give a shout out to all the people that hung out with me all night uh, turning this sketch into a drawing. I drew this on IGTV. So if you want to see each step along the way, you can actually go to my Instagram at Drug Free Dave and you can watch the IGTV and you'll see how I started from a blank canvas all the way to the drawing that you just saw in the video. So thank you guys again for hanging out. It's a lot of fun doing live streams. I'm going to do them on IGTV and on YouTube. So uh, make sure you follow me and subscribe on both. Uh, once again, I appreciate you stopping by. And uh, as always, keep drawing. And I'll see you in the next video.